Hi everyone, this is Nitesh and you are watching Tech Me Devoted. Today in this video we will learn uh, why we are implementing to a string and what's the use of this. So if you want to represent any objects as a string, then two string methods come into existence. The two string method returns the string representation of the object. So there are several uses of two string methods. It is used in logging and it is very simple and convenient mechanism for debugging classes during your development phase. If you print any object, the Java compiler internally invokes the toString method on, a, on the object. So overriding the toString method returns the desired output. It can be the state of an object and depends on your implementation. So let's start some hands-on. So for this two string demo so I'm going to my ID so here I have created one class to string demo I will describe one very simple example for this so what I'm doing I'm defining some variable okay let's this is roll number okay now let's write the constructor for this source generate constructor using fills so I'm generating it let's we have default constructor also okay now what I'm doing I'm creating object of this object of our class And I'm passing roll number as one and name as John and cities new daddy. So I'm creating two let's see two object. Now let's print it. It's too slow. Yeah, let's print T1 and so <clears throat> what will be the output? Printing T1 and T2 prints the hash code values of the objects. Let's uh, run it and let's check this. This is obvious, right? Yeah, you can see here this is the as code representation of this. But I, I don't want this. Okay. I want some values, our own values, so that it can be readable. Okay. So since Java compiler internally calls to string method, so overriding this method will return the specified values. Okay. So let's do override to a string method. Okay. So if you right click source here we have generate to string 
right so click it and you can choose all the fields you want I want all those fields okay so I have done this so this is our own implementation you can see here override annotation so we are overriding to a string method so now if you run this it will give our own specified values okay these values will be uh, given as an output so this value will be printed let's run this so here you you can see here for t1 it is roll number one name and city similarly for t2 roll number name and city so this is the uh, although it is a very simple but this is the all about to string method so that's why i initially i told that this is very simple and convenient mechanism for debugging classes while you are developing your application so that you can know what the value is passing and all and it is also used in logging and all so this is all about to string method so hope you like it uh, thanks for watching